All right, sup, Tubes? Welcome back to the Path of Rage. I am your host, Rage at Games, and this is our Cyberpunk 2077 playthrough. The game that is not for children, don't let them watch it. Our last episode, we finally found Evelyn Parker, who was left in some really bad shape by her previous employers, and we think that's the Voodoo Boys. We got to find out more about them. However, we got another stash to go for. We're going to go do that first. And that's... Oh, we're going to go do this first, actually. There we go. That's a fair ways away. So after we do this organized crime activity, then we're going to go find this. Set up. Okay, it's... Just on the other side of us. Maelstrom? Who are they shooting at? The cops? Okay. How do I get both of them? No, oh, it didn't. Here we go. Oh, what are you after me for? Okay, fine. Fuck you guys. My car is nowhere to be found. God damn it, where's my car? There it is. Don't even want to find you. Okay, let's get out of here. Suspect remains in the vicinity. <laughs> there we go. About to lose the trace. God damn it. All units in the area order has been restored. All units instructed to return to control. All right. Oh, there was a uh, a logo there. One of those uh, things for Judy, or not Judy, uh, Misty. All right, we we'll get that stash. Man, the slightest touch to this car. And it just, it wants to wipe out so hard. Oh. Look at that. Oh, wait a sec. I'm gonna take that off. This is a gorgeous city. Look at this.
I gotta admit, the music on the radio is badass. Tiger Claws? Yeah. Okay. One. There's five of them. Oh my. This is OP. <gasps> oh, there's someone else. I'm gonna steal this car. Can I? Yeah, I'll be able to. I gotta remember to turn off the car radio when I get out of the car. that up. Oh well. Hello, cop. Okay, this is... Nearby units, the suspect is still at large in the area. All units, 
No progress in the area. Suspect is still unstable. Code 3. I repeat, Code 3. God damn it. Vehicle has been located. Details have been sent. <laughs> Why in the hell did that cop run into me? Don't. All units be advised. Suspect remains in the vicinity. Be gone, demons. Let's, uh, ditch this car. Was not a fan of that radio station. Back up the street, okay. I wonder if I could use my cyberware abilities to blind them, like blind their optics, and then do the takedowns, if I could do that with multiple guys in a row. Might have to try that. There's a thing right yeah, right beside me. We'll check that out. Here's hoping the cops don't attack me. Although I bet you when I was attacking those maelstromers, contagion attacked the the cops. Maybe. As long as they're aware of you. You, you saved my life. Thank you. Oh, more cyberware. Nice. Cool. I just ran face first into a telephone pole. <laughs> not, not seeing the cause for alarm there.
Ooh, let's net watch. Yeah, I'm not touching that. Courier services van. Any bus full of leather jackets. Okay. Oh. oh, I just have a perk point. Okay. Oh, I need this to get both of these. Okay. Like that. Okay. Oh, we got quite a few people here. Was there a limit to how many I could tag? van it's inside isn't it There's a way in around the back. I want to see if I can sneak in. I want to see if I can sneak in without being seen at all. Okay, there's the way in. They can't see out here. So, I think that's the van. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Can I get behind him somehow?
Oh shit. There we are. See her. That was close. Oh, is this not it? Oh, I shouldn't have put double contagion on him. Have it. Well, now that I've had to kill everyone, <laughs> I'm gonna loot them. I didn't even see that. I could have come up behind him. Maybe. Oh, 
kind of bummed out. I did want to, like, fully ninja that one. What the hell is that? Oh, hello. <laughs> Excuse me. So I was right about the van. <laughs> now this thing drives like a boat. Crying out loud. Hey, look at that. The cops didn't just randomly ram me. Example of a job well done, don't you think? A plus plus. Contract closed. Cool. Let's go over here. Whoa. <laughs> that was weird. Can I not get out this way? I should be able to actually. Yeah. Here we go. Her will, forcing her to work. Mm. 
Could you go grab her from those psychos? Her brother would be grateful. Deets attached. Happy to. Okay. We'll do the background. Quite a few. However, they got a camera. Let's take a look around. Got this homes here. I thought there was more. You're back way in. I want to see if I can ninja this one. Whoops. Fuck. Still has hands and tricks. Yeah, Jill. I fucking got it. He just stood there giving him hell. That's hands. Jill can't be stopped. Ripper better sew him up fast. Push him. There we go. Turn off the cameras. This last dude.
I keep getting these quick ha hack crafting components. I've never even looked into doing that. I'll actually figure out what that's what entails uh, crafting off camera. side cap your friends in real bad shape get in here I need your help you Lucy Lucy Tackery what's up with this tech I can't see shit your brother sent me I'm here to get you out Birdie? Okay, okay, just a moment. Look, we don't have time for this. The tech they've got in here belongs in a scrapyard. We got a Delta now. Since you're still here, run a scan on him. You can't be serious. Jesus, I see your implants. Scan him. Pressure's falling. Same with the temperature. He's going into shock. I'll try to stem the bleeding. You, give him a unit of synth blood. Come on, it's on the table. First from the left. No. I'm sorry? Enough of this shit, we don't have time. He's gone. Of course, shouldn't have expected anything from someone like you. Tell me, do you feel anything at all when you kill someone? I didn't kill him. The man died because you did nothing, even after I asked for your help. That's murder. Let's go. And of course, change the subject. Off we go. Just hope it's worth it in the end. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I think uh, we've objectively shown that we're not good people. <laughs> Keep close to me, head down. Come on, just a little farther. You ride, get in. Bingo. Nice. All right. Let us go meet Takamura. Leveled up again. Nice. Damage and stun chance with counterattacks. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I want that. We're going to work our way to getting that. And beef up our intelligence. It's quite a ways away. I'm 
So. Hey, Lucy's safe. Cream work. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Let's once again take to the streets in this wildly uncontrollable vehicle. This is bad, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Car radio up just a bit. Ah! <laughs> Eat it. Why was my radio changing volume there? Contains easy beef. This, the layout of the city. I do not understand. She's not in good shape. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Suits know one spark's all it takes for Japan Town to go up in flames. The riots are always best put down by folks not sporting your brand name. Ah, you are here. Indeed. Goro, good to see you. As it is to see you, V. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. Yorinobu's a smart little muffin. Putting on the parade to show off his attachment to Arasaka, its values, and to solidify his legitimacy. He is shrewd. I will not deny that. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful. But the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. 
The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need... I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki? I'd actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. <laughs> Let us move on. <laughs> to take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city camera. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, getting more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work, I will watch your back. Now, get to it. <laughs> B? We can see into there. B? What? And yet I missed the giant exit sign. Done. System's ours. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... C. 
it. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. He's not on his A-game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. From the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. Hmm. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half. We hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. We got five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. We will never be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. Hmm. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. This your elaborate seppuku ritual? What? Why? As far as I can see, you're trying to get us killed. Really like to know why. The risks are substantial, yes. But we have no choice. Hanako-sama is our only chance. You have nothing to lose, as I do. I see it in your eyes. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't let him off his leash. You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! Yori Nova. In the flesh. He eliminated the last obstacle between himself and complete power. They surrendered it to him. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions. Power struggles. All of this. Ksa. Old man's death must have really fed the flames between the different factions. That is exactly what happened. And what's the balance of power look like now? Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know a little about her. And then there is Taka. Treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. We Tell me about them some other time. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could've kept his son on a short leash. 
Arasaka sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu fought his band of hounds, declared war on his own family. Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wait, you think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. Gotta go. Come. I have found a good as you were saying to observe. Since we're gonna work together, only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you V. See, no introductions necessary. I already took care of that. Someone comes to me with biz, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe biz. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, you need fresh wheels, bikes? I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? <laughs> all right. We must just climb up here. Now, this way. I love the double jump legs. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. Rancho Coronado. a beautiful view of the city if 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 there was anything to admire hate night city that much hmm perhaps I am simply homesick as you say now you must look for vulnerabilities weaknesses while I try to think of a diversion Arasaka cannot discover our intentions a bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? <sighs> this would be an epic view if it weren't for the fog. I know it is because I've been here before. Damn it. Let's do this. Footbridge. 
but it's guarded. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. This is not bad. Pipes. See him? We could use them to get inside. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. I think I've seen everything. Do you see the three antennas? Perfect for sabotage. Once they lose communications. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampeki Plaza? <laughs> I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in. in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. <coughs> B. What? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a back and echo. A back and echo? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune, can restore the dead back to life. Believe in ghosts? The relic let you talk to the dead, does it not? <laughs> I believe we are past belief. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Where'd you grow up anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once, when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. My childhood? Let's see. Nights spent looking for a star. Any star. All dimmed by city lights. Silent lullabies sung by the flickering neon signs of Charter Hill. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. <laughs> Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 had the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. What did they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. 
when they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before, discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. One hundred candidates standing at attention, and Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. Did what you had to to keep from going hungry. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. So Spill, <laughs> how'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I, in the name of principles. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here, your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety? Chief Eleven slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that, too. We cannot fix everything at once. Forgetting I was at Arasaka, saw how Corpse operate. It wasn't roses and rainbows. And you know what? Nobody owns me. I'm free. You should try it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad. To leave this world, forget everything. <laughs> Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki, we both have lost someone important. <laughs> And we are not at peace with this, so we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. <laughs> the Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something. Hmm? <laughs> oh, fuck, get worse. You do not look so bad. Why is he texting me right there? Oh, just return to street level, okay. Uh-uh. 
Daring contest. The diversionary action. That is mine to do. Boom. And there we have it. That is just past the hour mark, and we're going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this episode, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed a little bit more ninja action and a pretty wild preview into how OP this Netrunner build might end up being. <laughs> uh, if you did enjoy it, thought I did a good job, give me a thumbs up as always. Subscribe if you're new to help me grow the channel and beat that bloody YouTube algorithm. And until next time, I've been Rayjack Games, and I'll see you in Night City. Bye-bye.